The government has been systematically eroding your property rights over the last several years. The progressive agenda appears to be, take a little bit now and come back for more later, incrementally removing your right to the free use of your property. This has been happening at all levels of government. The UN Agenda 21's basic premise is property is too valuable a commodity for private ownership and to relocate all the people off the land and into cities. This same agenda is being used by the state and local governments across our land bent on implementing to take away your constitutionally guaranteed rights. The U.S. Supreme Court in its Kelo versus the City of New London decision ruled that a city can condemn private property and give it to a commercial interest for economic development. The EPA has ruled that over 100 miles from a navigable river can be controlled from, for water pollution. Washington State passed the Growth Management Act despite a rejected Citizens Initiative 547 in 1990. Kitsap County has placed up to 100 foot native vegetation buffer on its shoreline and up to 150 feet buffers along many of our streams. Kitsap County has instituted a quarter acre maximum lot size in its earth urban growth areas. The city of Bainbridge Island requires a use permit for any activity that takes place on or near the shoreline, and the list goes on. Learn what you can do to counter this trend and maintain your property rights. The Kitsap County Alliance of Property Owners, in association with the Kitsap County Association of Realtors, is sponsoring a town hall meeting at the Crossroads Community Church on Fairgrounds Road in Bremerton at 7 p.m on October 6th. We have invited Brian Hodges, a lead attorney from Pacific Legal Foundation, to talk about their campaign to protect your property rights and the status of their efforts for property. Please join us to learn how you can protect your biggest investment and hold government accountable.